Five million years ago, man broke away from the lesser apes. And with those five million years, he broadened the chasm between himself and his ancestors. His hands grasped tools, he harnessed fire, he mastered language, built civilization up from the ground, and learned to contemplate his own existence. Today man stands alone, with a vast gap separating him from his ape brethren. But could the apes bridge the gap by crossing themselves with man, a new species, half man, half chimpanzee? Could there be such an animal? And was there... We're at the site of the old Olive Park Primate Research Center in Olive Park, New Jersey. This was before they moved it five miles south to Essex. Now, they bulldozed the whole thing in 1947. Right over there, where Laboratory 3 would have been. And that's the most likely place where they would have done it. That it would have been where Adam lived for a year and seven months before they took him out and shot him like an animal. And it burns me up. They open the Pandora's box and then they shut it again destroyed all the evidence. Damn them for that. God damn them. I transcribed a few of the entries from one of the remaining journals that somehow survived. October 10th, 1939. Mary inseminated with sperm sample collected from Albert. And we don't know whether Mary or Albert was the chimp. Presumably an earlier entry would have told us, but that's been lost. October 17th and 24th, two more attempts made. October 31st, Mary begins to show signs of pregnancy. And then July 4th, 1940, Mary gives birth to one male hybrid named Adam weight 3.5 pounds. July 30th, 1941, Adam learns to say mama and papa. Expect further linguistic development. So given time, near the end we've got a list of words that he learned to say. We've got coat, cup, eat, feet, hot, hug, mama, papa. On November 19th, one very important, I feel, entry. November 19, 1941, Adam assembles a 16-piece jigsaw puzzle of a kitten. So we can assume that he had well-developed cognitive development. And then uh, February 13, 1942, project terminated, specimen destroyed. And that's all they said. We can assume that uh, there was a casualty of World War II they had to bring everyone in for the war effort. I actually found some fragments of bone in the woods the other day. It looked like someone tried to char the hell out of them. I think they might be some remains of Adam. I've examined the specimen extensively, and it appears to be the humerus, or upper arm bone, of a hominid that I've never seen before. Could this be the hybrid offspring of a human and a chimpanzee? I think that's very possibly the case. I leave that as an option that I would examine later. This is the bone that Professor Woods claims is the upper arm of some unknown hominid, and uh, quite frankly, it's a chicken bone. It's a drumstick. It's, as a matter of fact, it's one of the laziest forgeries I think I've ever seen, uh, which just goes to prove the adage, uh, if at first you can't fricassee, fry fry a hen. <laughs> Frankly, I think Ray is trying to pull a P.T. Barnum here. If he can find a scientist that says this is real, he thinks he can fool the public. What do you say to the claim that the bone is a forgery? Well, I don't know. Maybe it is. Could have been planted. 
I hope it wasn't. At any rate, even if it was, that doesn't preclude the possibility that maybe we just haven't found the actual remains yet. You know, or maybe there's nothing to find. Maybe they destroyed it all. Even so, I think if any of this is real, then we have a responsibility to acknowledge Adam's place in the pantheon of apes, if not his murder.